This is Stars Toronto and I'm Shelby GT and we are here with the Harbour Sharks. And you guys are the band for Gene One, which is opening up for Shop Claire tonight at the Rock Hall in Toronto. So my first question is, how did you come up with the name? Uh, one of the first people we work with in the city, uh, Sadi and I, uh, he plays bass, I play drums. Yes. We did work in a studio uh, that was called PHS, Paradox Harbor Sharks. Okay. They got PHS, and Jacques Claire actually used to work with them back in the day. That's how we met Jacques Claire back in the day, and yeah, uh, we just took the Harbor Sharks part because we were like the house band in the studio, and um, broke off, and that's where we got the name from. So. Okay. Anything to add to that? So how long has this been that you've been working together? Well, Eric and I have been working together. We started as a house band. Okay. And so we progressed to two different phases of the band. So we um, played Apple Beast, doing a lot of um, Maybe we came across uh, Justin and, and um, Daryl. <laughs> the guitarist, by the way, and the keys, Finette, Justin. So now, 10 years, that's a long time. So you, you obviously have somewhat of a, a zone going on between you guys. You are very beautiful. You sound beautiful together. I just want to say that. Beautiful to the ears. You could feel the vibrations on the stage. Like we were on stage where you guys are playing, and it was like, whoa, you know, I could feel it through my whole body. So I just thought that was really cool, and I wanted to get the aspect of that side. So yeah, a, it's just like as a union, like you know, it's it's unity. Two, four, five people, sometimes six, seven people's creative work come to one, right? Yeah. As opposed to just a producer and an MC. It's only two yeah. people's creative works. So. Besides the sample, you know, stuff. Five people's but, input. But yeah, so, you know. That's also what makes it fun about hip hop because you have to tear away all the things that you just immediately you want to overplay, you want to play all kinds of stuff and fill every space, but that's not what it's about. It's just yeah, it's it's like pulling it down and figuring out exactly what makes the song a song and sticking to it. And it's almost like a zen like. Yeah, unforced. Yeah, yeah, it's really fun. Finding the right sauce. <laughs> Nah. Yeah. 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 That's right sauce. Sauce. Words, sauce. 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 Words from that, 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 that flavor. As soon as you find that flavor, it's, it's, it's over. It doesn't. Introduce yourself. <laughs> DJ Chino, you know what it is. Holla. Shelby, you play yourself. <laughs> so now, what do you see going forward? Are you just going to work with Team One, or do you work for us with other artists as well? Uh, no, we work with other artists, definitely. Um, uh, right now we're just doing a series of EPs with a bunch of local MCs. Okay. Seeing what works and what doesn't and uh, doing lots of shows and seeing where it takes us. Okay, that's great. So, tell me about being the guitarist. It's alright. Um, <laughs> very good. Yeah, no, um, it's actually, it's cool to be in a hip-hop band playing the guitar because I get to sit back and uh, color in all the melodies and the cool beats that these guys lay down. That's really nice. Yeah, man. Thank you. So did you did you come from a, a rock background? No, not at all. Um, hip hop. We were actually in a hip hop band called Kush, and it's, uh, we were kind of like not not head on or anything, but in a way we were kind of rivals to a point because we were both hip hop bands in Toronto, right? Okay. Two of the better ones, and we decided to join forces, and <laughs> here we are. Good. Yeah. Well, that's great because you obviously work well. And then Justin with Finesse. I know him as Finesse. He actually produced one of my records. Um, it's a thing called Love. Uh, so how did you get involved? Well, basically, I was working with Justin in a part of his band called Push. Yep. And then uh, we picked up his work with Eric and Doug. Uh, sooner after, and I was from one big band that I So Push was the funk band, as you told me about? Oh, OK, cool. We were here for the Harvest Shorts. <laughs> Okay. It still exists. It still exists. So it's like two bands. Yeah, okay, but well we're, all, we're all big we're a big family. family. Yeah. But Harbor Sharks it is. Okay, so that's great. Well, um, I'd like to thank you for this interview. Thank and you. we are going to post it on starstoronto.com. And I mean, we'll follow you around and come to some of your other shows, see what you guys are up to. Right on. Tell them where you can find your music, Instagram, your social media. All that shit. First yeah, it's Instagram shit. slash Harbor Sharks, H-A-R-B-O-U-R-S-H-A-R-K-S, Harbor Sharks. Okay. Uh, and you can get everything there. Uh, we have a Facebook as well. Get us on there and SoundCloud? say hi. Uh, no. No SoundCloud. No. YouTube? Uh, yes, we have some stuff on YouTube. 
Okay, great. Absolutely. Stars Toronto in the building. Well, I want to thank the Harbor Sharks, Gene One, Tino. We got it. We got everyone in the building right now, and we're doing a big Shockler concert tonight. Don't miss it. Stars Toronto. Don't ever play yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it.